this is awesome gastric spin with replica this is their new song and thank you so much ollie for this request What in the world? Oh! Okay, wow. This is not like any gotcha spin I've ever heard before. That's some cool, like, chromatic descent on the guitar in the right ear there. This slapping bass somehow creating this weird soundscape. And then Angie's vocals just like, I mean, what the heck? Okay. <laughs> this is pretty crazy. <laughs> Wow. Sorry, I missed a bit of the vocals. Oh, pretentious and full of crap. Okay. Dude. Wow. Got your spin with these new songs been getting really deep lately i mean i haven't really dug into their lyrics from past songs i've listened to but it makes me wonder if angie has had an impact on like how deep and introspective the lyrics are but like dang that is a really great chorus and the way it also turned around and like kind of flipped flipped the lens a bit towards the end of the chorus because this is totally something I know I struggle with is, you know, not always expressing how I'm actually feeling on the inside to kind of keep the peace and please other people. But like, I know deep down it's, it's not good for me. And I'm always trying to work on that, but like, dang, this is deep. getting funky okay i gotta start this part over but before i forget that little piano solo that uh, oreo had after that first chorus was so cool just letting the song breathe really letting the chorus sink in and just you know <laughs> you kind of like dang there was a lot to take in in that chorus but it's cool to see how many perspectives the vocals in this song and also in Kajikachiyama 
I'm guessing they're trading vocals when they're switching perspectives. Like, I mean, they have so many amazing vocalists in the band, but it's just cool to see a song have so many different perspectives and so many different thought processes built into it. Key change? Whoa. That was cool. Dude, this song is so deep and so layered. First of all, I love how she ex- she expresses kind of how much she despises the fake, non-authentic replicas, but then also takes responsibility for being the same way sometimes. Like it talks about uh, forgetting who you are or being someone else from day to day like depending on the day and dang that's so true this is something i've realized as i get older like when i was a teenager i had a really strong identity i knew who i was and it was easy to keep up with that but it's scary as you get older when you are dealing with health problems and you're not able to be who you are all the time you're working a full-time job and you know not able to have the energy to do the things that used to form your identity. Like for me, I got sucked out of music, which used to be my identity as a teenager. And I lost that part of myself for a while until, you know, I started doing this and Yoyoka and all that stuff. But like, it's scary how fast you can lose your identity when you're not able to keep having the same patterns you did before you know and so i really appreciate just how deep and introspective this song is also i've got some exclusive live music and anime reactions over on my patreon i just finished reacting to bochi the rock and now i'm starting cowboy bebop i do exclusive live music reactions and i've covered everyone from bandmade baby meta love bites namafila gotcha expand that you can find only on my patreon and you can also make your own requests for videos i react to so go check that out and i'll talk to you next time